Welcome back, everybody, to another episode in our series on Irish mythology. In today's episode, we will begin our section on the Ulster Cycle. The Ulster Cycle is the second of four main phases of Irish mythology and tells the stories of heroes of Northeast Ireland during the first century CE. These tales take place during the reign of King Colgobar Macnesa, a king in conflict with the exiled previous king Elil and his wife Maeve, relocated in Connacht. In today's episode, we will be covering the stories of the birth of Cúchulín, the wooing of Emer, and the wooing of Atain. Let's begin. There are several different stories detailing the birth of the famous hero Cúchulín. What they all share in common is that King Colcabar's warriors were hunting a flock of magical birds with his charioteer Deirdre when a cold winter snow set in. The group took shelter at the home of the god Lu. While there, Deirdre gives birth to a child, and the warriors debate what to do with the child. They decide to each take a hand in raising it, with one teaching the boy judgment and oratory, one to protect and provide for the boy, one to teach him to protect the innocent, and a poet to educate him, plus the poet's wife to nurse him to young adulthood. When Cúchulín had become a young man, he had become the most handsome young man in all of Ireland, much to the alarm of fathers of single daughters across the island. The several kings of Ireland, therefore, met to decide what to do and hatched a plan. They tell Cúchulín to pick the princess he wants to marry, and he chose the monster princess Emmer, but her father didn't approve. Emmer's father convinces Cúchulín to travel to Scotland to train with the warrior goddess Scathach, whose military training program no warrior could survive, in the hopes that Cúchulín would die in training and leave Emmer alone. Cúchulín, however, excels under Scathach's training and even defeats the goddess's rival in battle before returning to Ireland to marry Emmer. Emmer's father still does not approve, however, so Cúchulín storms the castle, steals the king's treasury, and runs off with Emmer before marrying the princess. The Wooing of Attain is a three-part story detailing the life, death, rebirth, and re-death of Attain. Attain was once the most beautiful woman in Ireland. One day, a god named Meteor was visiting the god Angus and was attacked and blinded by neighborhood children while trying to reach Angus's house. Meteor demands compensation for his injury, so Angus has Meteor's blindness healed and gifts him the hand of Attain in marriage. Meteor's first wife, however, is not happy, so she turns Attain into a fly, then creates several storms to keep her away from Midir. The storms cannot keep the two separate, though, so Midir's first wife sent a final storm that sees the fly Attain land on a drinking cup and consumed and killed while the person was drinking from the cup. Midir was heartbroken, and he killed his ex-wife and gave up hope of ever seeing his Attain ever again. A thousand years later, Attain is reborn from the old ex-wife's curse and grows up to be a beautiful woman yet again. She married the Irish king, Yuhe, and there's no way I pronounced that right, but Yuhe's brother, Elil, had fallen deeply for Attain and nearly died of his broken heart when his brother married her. When Yuhe left the capital to tour Ireland, Attain took care of of Elil, who over time revealed himself to be Midir. When Uhe returned from his tour, 
Meteor challenged him to a board game, and over several rounds lost many treasures to the king. In the final round, however, they competed for a kiss from Attain, and Meteor won. When Attain and Meteor kissed, they turned into swans and flew off together, making the king furious. He ordered every corner of the island and every cave underneath searched for his wife. So Medir brings the king a tame, plus several women who look similar to her. He tells the king if he can pick a tame from the crowd, he can have his wife back. Ukid chooses a woman that's not a tame, and immediately takes her to his castle and impregnates her. Medir arrived afterwards in horror and told the king the woman he impregnated was Ucha's own daughter through Attain. The terrified king ordered the daughter of his incestuous act abandoned in the wilderness, where a shepherd eventually raised the girl, and she would eventually give birth to a future king of Ireland. In next week's episode, we will be delving into more stories from the Ulster Cycle, specifically the tale of Mactato's pig, Maeska Ulid, and the Book of the Dun Cow, and the story of Flayed Brechen. I'll see you all in that next episode.